Hello Libra and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. I'm already seeing that your spirit guides, your ancestors, they're all around you. They're proud of you. They're proud of um, everything that you've accomplished, everything that you've been through. Um, they're proud of all of everything that you've learned because look at all that you've learned. But I feel like I feel like you're tired. I feel like your mind is tired. I feel like your heart is tired. Um, I'm feeling this like I can't um, keep going on with struggles anymore. Like look at you're crying here. But you're also, as you're crying and hurt and you just can't handle the struggles anymore, you're also speaking. And the words that you're saying are going out to the universe like instantly, okay? You need to know this because you could be actually blocking some of your own blessings by how you're manifesting, okay? Um, if there's anything that's going to really help you, from this reading, I feel like what you need to do is like Google the law of attraction. Okay, Google it. I didn't make it up. You're manifesting your future as we go. Okay, one day at a time, one step at a time. And manifesting has a lot to do with what you're focused on. And it has a lot to do with how you talk to the universe. Okay, when you're because I feel like you've reached like a point where you just can't handle the struggles anymore. You haven't seen your justice either from people who have betrayed you. You're, you're exhausted, okay, by life and things that are coming at you. Or um, I, I feel like you've got some struggles here. It could be financial struggles. It could be struggles moving forward. But the more you say negative things and put it out there to the universe, the more blockages you're going to have, my darling. All right? So I feel like you're saying things like, I can't, or I'll never have this, or um, it's always so hard for me, things like that. Okay? Those words, your words and your thoughts are so powerful okay um you have to you have to learn the law of attraction all right um when you say those things the universe takes it like the, the universe is like taking orders okay they listen to what people say and they say okay your wish is granted or we'll get right on that okay so when you're saying out, out loud or even with your thoughts, I'm never going to climb out of this hole. The universe says, okay, we heard you. Wish granted. It's that simple. Now, if you were to say, I don't, um, I don't want to be in these, I'm not going to be in these struggles anymore. Don't even say I, I want. Say, I'm not going to be in these struggles anymore. I'm not going to feel this way anymore. I'm going to have money in my bank account. My bank account's going to grow. You know, you kind of have to say it like, kind of like you've had enough, right, of the struggles, and you're sort of putting your foot down, and you're telling the universe, no, it's going to go this way now, right? And you're not being mean. Remember to say your pleases and thank yous. But this is how the universe, the universe will react to what you're saying, okay? Everything has an action and a reaction. Everything, including your thoughts, including your words. And so when you, when you put the words out there like, I'm never going to have this, or it's never going to happen for me, or I can't, or, you know, um, things like that. And you're actually putting a blockage up for yourself because the universe reacts to that. And they, they, they start creating that for you. Okay? The universe starts creating that for you. So, you know, just try it. Try it for like a couple months and tell the universe, I'm going to see. I'm, now listen to what I'm saying. I'm going to see more checks in the mail than I do bills. Just try it. Or 
um, I'm going to get a blessing of money in the next two months. I'm going to get a blessing of money. Put down an, an amount. Write it down. I'm going to get a thousand dollars sent to me within the next two months. I'll bet you it's going to be so close to a thousand dollars, man. If not, right on the money. Okay, and it'll be around two months. Okay, I'm telling you, if you tell the universe what it is that you want, they'll give it to you. If you tell the universe what it is that you don't want, they'll give it to you. Okay, if you keep saying, I'll never or I can't, the universe is going to give that to you. So you have to be very mindful here. We have, we have conscious connections, right? You see, I kind of have to cover it up. But you have to be conscious of the things that you're saying because you are um, very connected and very tapped into the universe and your spirit guides and God, right? This one wants to come off, yeah. Emperor Energy. Um, so, yeah, I'm also picking up, to that, and this is how powerful you are, right? Especially if you're an emperor energy. But I, I feel like, you know, you're, you're exhausted, your mind is exhausted, and you may kind of wander back to, like, a negative, maybe a negative frame of mind, okay? You've been heartbroken. You've had nothing but struggles. You could have had struggles your whole entire life. Okay, that's going to make you exhausted. And once your mind gets exhausted, you're no longer kind of paying attention to what you're saying. Okay, I need you to pay attention to what you're saying. The universe needs, needs to hear the good things that you want. They'll get you the bad things that you're talking about too, but they want, the universe wants you to win. Your spirit guides and ancestors, they want you to win here. Okay, you could be getting a lot of confirmations about this too. Um, I've been picking up on a lot of this stuff like in movie scenes, okay? There's a lot of new movies and stuff coming out too that um, even TV shows, even commercials, um, they, they talk about the spiritual stuff, manifesting, going through a shift, you guys. Um, the universe is picking up on all of this, you know, the universe is hearing, they hear your cries, they, the universe hears um, your pleads, the universe hears your thoughts. It's all extremely powerful. So just be mindful, right, of what you're, what you're saying to the universe. Because whatever it is that you're saying to the universe, that's what you're getting more of. Okay, but try it. Try it. Just tell the universe, I want to receive, I'm going to receive more checks in the mail than bills. I'm going to, you know, and say, please, universe, please hear my prayer. Please transmute any negative energy and turn it into blessings for me. Thank you, thank you so, so much for all of the blessings already and what you're doing for me. But I'm going to receive more checks in the mail than bills. Just try it and see what happens. You know, or if your goal is a specific amount of money, you know, tell the universe that, that it'll get so close. I'm telling you, it'll get so close to that. Um, all right, somebody wants to come back in here. Somebody wants to come in with some kind of empty promises, but here's the thing. I feel like this person may still see you as not being good enough for them. I don't know why they're acting like this. I feel like, um, I feel like somebody is wanting to control you. Maybe um, put you in another game, Divine Feminine. But you know what? You know your value and you're, this person has no idea who you really are here. You know, they want to come in with this empty promise and this, um, like, gee, I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry about the, uh, about the past, but they really don't mean it. Like, it's, it's so fake. 
This could be somebody who totally thinks that they're better than you. And you're all good on your own. Queen of Pentacles energy. You could be having a new beginning here. You could have recently purchased a new home. I feel like whatever you've been working on, it's, it's either about to pay off or it is paying off. Yeah, this person wants to get you to chase after them again. They're coming in with an apology and all of these... Um, like they're going to be um, complimenting you a lot or something, okay? Saying some really sweet things to you and everything, but they don't really believe it. They don't really believe it. I feel like they want you to think that you're going to have a new beginning with this person, but then they're going to turn their back on you again. Yeah, this is somebody who just wants to come in and break your heart. Why? Why? And you're not doing anything to this person. You're an earth angel energy. You're just trying to live a life of peace. Yeah, I'm really getting the sense that this, this person from your past, they just want to control you. They want to control how you feel. They maybe want you to chase them. They're really just trying to feed their ego here. This person's coming in with an apology that's fake. And they're, they're only wanting to break your heart. That's their motivation. I don't understand why they would even take the time to do this. Spirit's telling you to keep walking away from this person. Move on. Move forward. Um, don't allow this person to get up in your head. Okay? Spirit is like, they are no better than you. You are the empress and the emperor here in the chariot, divine feminine. You're an earth angel. This person, all this person wants to do is um, they just want you to feel heartbroken. I don't know why. Why does this person constantly want divine feminine to feel? Because they don't want to. Because they don't want to confront things about themselves. And I feel like that's what you make this person do. You make them look at themselves. You're rejecting them. That's what this is. I feel like you're rejecting this person. You're moving on. You've healed. You don't want them back. And they don't like how that feels. They don't like the feeling of you not wanting them anymore. So they're going to come back in. And try to get you all wrapped up in this again. Just so they can break your heart. Just so they can feel better about themselves. I kid you not. And Spirit's telling you, don't give this person the time of day. Do not give this person any of your energy. Don't listen to them. I feel like Spirit doesn't even want you to talk to this person. Because they see that you're trying really hard to think positively, okay? You're trying hard to finish your healing and move on from this person in peace. Yeah. And I'm also feeling like... um this is somebody who's going to, I feel like they're going to send you a bunch of messages. Uh, this just feels like oodles of messages. And I feel like they're going to try to blame you. Or they're going to try to give you some false story of what happened. But you remember everything that happened. You know? Um, yeah, you remember everything that happened. You're going to be thinking to yourself, this person's got it all screwed up. But they're trying to manipulate you. They're trying to um, put the blame on you. They're trying to make you think that it's somehow maybe your fault or, um, I don't know, that you need to chase after them or something. All they're doing is playing a little game. And it's all because you're, you're making, I feel like this person is a narcissist. They keep gaslighting you. This is somebody who has always gaslighted you or put the blame on you for everything. Nothing you ever did was good enough, you know. They may have given you empty promises in the past and left your life very quickly, expected you to chase them. This is a narcissistic energy. 
and you're in this empress energy here yeah you um you flipped on this person into someone who's very abundant or you're, you're about to be very abundant very stable this person's really upset because um you're like the one person who did not play their games okay you're not putting up with their games you're not putting up with their narcissistic crap you're not putting up with it and it's making this person see you as more of a challenge every day okay you're like the one person that they want to string along because you're the one person that won't allow this person to break you okay and they want to break you. They want to break the Empress, but you're too strong for them. And you're being divinely led forward. I don't like this person's energy, I gotta say. Yeah, look. All they're doing is trying to think of ways to hurt you, betray you, backstab you make you feel burdened and brokenhearted okay that's all they're trying to do they're trying to find a different route or a way to break you down their old tactics aren't working either i feel like if this person was trying to play head games with you in the past and gaslight you you're not you're not buying into that anymore okay you recognize their tactics now yeah and i feel like you're single and you're about to get somebody new this to me is a new person coming in you could be a virgo you could be a leo a sagittarius cancer taurus virgo capricorn you're about to get somebody new and um and this new person they're matching your energy almost perfectly okay right now you're in this chariot energy you've been through a battle people have dragged you through it this narcissist from your past they dragged you through the dirt the gravel and they didn't care how much you were hurting it made them feel better about themselves you know now you've healed right you've gone through that battle and you're coming off of that battlefield having a major victory in life you feel good you feel more confident you're starting to see blessings roll in okay that's your energy this new person is very much like that as well this is somebody who's been in a battle as well and now they're coming off of that battlefield feeling victorious this is somebody who's already accomplished a lot and people could be cheering them on People could be really proud of what they're doing. They could be um, in the public eye. Okay, but you're both having a victory here. Both of these are victory cards. Okay, and I feel like you're being led in a specific direction. This new person, they're being led straight to you. And you are ready for love because you've learned You've learned what love shouldn't feel like ever again. Okay, you've learned that love, you need to, somebody needs to be honest and dedicated with you. And now you're using your discernment. You've learned discernment as well. You're not going to let just anybody in your inner circle. You've got a lot to protect here. So I feel like spirit is sending you in the right person for you. And this person from your past, look, they're being defeated. They're being defeated. Okay? They missed out on a blessing. I feel like this narcissistic person, I don't want to say they're a full narcissist, but they feel, let me about that. They feel very selfish and they have narcissistic tendencies. This is somebody who doesn't like people to reject them. They're not used to that. Okay? And I feel like um, spirit is going to, I feel like they're going to be feeling some pain from this. They're feeling defeated and they hate it. Okay. 
They're feeling defeated and they hate it. And they can't come towards you and you're about to get new love. You're about to be happy. And even if you even if you don't get new love, you're happy without this person. Like you're not going to take them back even if they were the last person on earth. That's kind of the feeling that I'm getting. You know, even if they were the last person on earth, you wouldn't want this person back. And they don't know how to handle that. They're used to being chased. They're not used to somebody rejecting them. You're literally the only person who's ever said no to this person. You're the only one who's ever put your foot down with this person. And they can't stand it. But they, they don't have any ideas of how to get through to you either. Yeah, they've got to carry their own burdens. Look at where they are in the, in the Ten of Swords and the Ten of, of Wands. Yep. They're going to have to deal with it. When they rejected you, they made you deal with it on your own. So you know what? Now you're rejecting them. You do not want this person back. They showed you their true colors and you don't want them back. You know your value and you know that you deserve better than them. And they're not used to hearing that. Okay? They're not used to someone walking away from them. And that's exactly what you're doing. Yeah, I'll go find somebody who's going to love me the right way. Yep, that's true. That's true. Yep, that is the truth. And so so you are. You're moving forward into new love. This new love is going to come in who's going to treat you the right way. The right way. And this emperor from your past, this fairly narcissistic person, they're going to have to deal with feeling rejected now. See, it, does, it doesn't feel right when the shoe's on the other foot. That's what this is. Yeah, they don't like it when the shoe's on the other foot now. But this is what they put you through. A whole lot of pain and betrayal. And making you carry the burdens for this. Mm-mm. You're giving it all back to them. Yeah. And it's causing them a lot of chaos. There, there could be um, other people that are fighting with this person, too. I feel like yeah, anyone who is sick of being treated poorly by narcissistic people, <laughs> those narcissists are getting a whole lot of backlash right now. Okay. Yep. And I feel like you are just kind of floating um, you're not speaking to this person. You're being very silent and you're being divinely led. You're using your intuition with anyone who approaches you, especially people from your past. And I feel like you're not letting this person back in. Right now, you're in a time of celebration. You could be celebrating some accomplishments or you will when you start getting more checks in the mail than you do bills, right? Um, yeah, I feel like you're trying to keep your vibrations as high as you can. So you're, you're getting out, you're doing things, you're starting to fill your new life, um, with maybe new connections, new hobbies, fun, new adventures. Yeah, look, look at you. You could be traveling as well. I'm feeling vacation energy here. I'm feeling that the uh, spirit has put you on a pedestal and you, you're done with the cycle with the world card. You're just done with this. Yeah, you're ready to live your life. You're ready to be happy. You're ready for your wishes to be fulfilled. You just have to be mindful of how you talk to the universe, remember? Because spirit will send it to you, okay? Yep. And now you're, you're about to live a very happy life. This is the kind of life everyone dreams of having. You know, you're comfortable, you're happy, you've got a beautiful home, and people are happy around you. Not a lot of worries, right? Prosperity. Okay? So this is the kind of life you're about to have. And this emperor over here, they're about to be living a life like this burdened. They've got to take a look at themselves. This narcissist is being brought down, basically. 
I'm going to take this into the extended here in a minute. I just want to see um, what advice Spirit has for you, but I want to check into this person's. This is a narcissist that does not want to stop messing with your head. They do not want to admit defeat. They never, ever want to feel like someone is rejecting them. So I feel like this person, it may get more intense. Um, I want to see what they want to do here. They may want to start an argument. They may want to start a fight with you. They may want to blame other people. So in, um, in Patreon, we're going to pick that apart and see what this person is trying to plan behind the scenes, okay? But Spirit is gifting you with something. They're asking you to release any pains from the past, any thought of, um, you know, I never, I can't, I, you know, it'll never happen. They want you to release those kind of feelings and only manifest positive things, okay? And they're about to bless you. Yeah, look, another Ten of Cups. I'm telling you. The land of milk and honey, your, your blessings are coming in. As soon as you tell the universe what it is that you want, you're heard and your blessings come in. So please, Divine Feminine, be very careful about the words that you say, okay? Be careful about the energy you put out into the universe and the things that you say to the universe because the universe will react to that either good or bad, okay? If you're putting anything negative out there or, say, or speaking negative words about yourself, the universe will react to that. If you're saying positive things and being hopeful and thinking positive thoughts and positive affirmations, the universe will react to that. But either way, all of these blessings, right? Bing, 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 all of these little cups here, those are all separate things that you've asked for. And I feel like just keep it as positive as you can. Keep your thoughts as positive as you can. Keep your energy and your vibes as high as you can. And I'm telling you, you're going to manifest dreams to come true. Okay? And learn about um, the law of attraction, please. Yep, you're, you're about to be blessed. And just know, like this, this feels like this to me, okay? The words that you say are immediately heard by the universe and your spirit guides and the divine, okay? If you feel like you're being blessed and you put that blessed energy out there to the universe, the universe will react and send you more blessings, Okay, just be careful of, of the self-talk. Be careful of saying negative things, putting negative things out to the universe. You don't want to do that. <laughs> Only positive divine feminine, okay? And you will be blessed. You will be blessed. And there's that tired, exhausted energy that I'm feeling. Like I said, when your mind is tired, you're not, you may not pay attention to what the things that you're saying and putting out there. Okay? So I feel like someone here also needs to take some time for themselves. Clear your head. Maybe spend some time outside. Get grounded in nature. Okay? Um, yeah, bring a peacefulness to yourself somehow. All right? So that you can pay attention to the things that you're saying and the things that you're thinking. All of that is manifestation. You guys, look it up. The Law of Attraction. You can Google it. Okay?